back today's vlogs everyone so um today what we're doing is this is another blower motor repair video off of the last video that I made on the blower motor repair um, if you guys have not seen that video I will leave it down in the description and you can go check it out this is actually another part of that video so what I'm gonna show you I gotta take everything apart and so I gotta take this off mass airflow I might have to take the box out, but there is a ground wire right here. If you guys can see where my finger is pointing at, um, that goes to your blower motor. Most of the time, it is on the passenger side. Anywhere on the passenger side, you're going to have a ground wire. So we're going to go in here, and I'm going to kind of show you guys. I got it working, so I got everything working. It, it does work because I jiggled around the wire, the ground wire, and it started working. But if you come over here, um, it's a little dark, but you know, if you're, if you're turning this and it's not turning on, or you're switching any of these and it's not turning over to what it's supposed to, um, then you most likely have a ground problem to your blower motor. Because I wiggled that ground around so I wiggled the ground around and it has been working with absolutely no problem. And so what we're gonna do, let me go back into here for you guys. So I do have some electric grease. Um, we're gonna take the ground apart and we're gonna fix this ground so that it still works. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thanks to Laker. Um, he let me steal this from him. So I didn't have to go buy any. So shout out to you, Laker Vlogs. This is a shout out. Thanks for uh, letting me steal your grease. But so I'm going to get to taking all this apart. And uh, we got little man. We got, we got Laker's little boy here. Well, I got Laker boy. Because I'm watching him. So we are going to get to taking this apart. And he's helping me out, so we're gonna get to this. So the very first thing you want to do, little man's recording right now. He wanted to help me out, and so he's recording. I don't know if you guys can see me, but um, little man's recording. So what mine is because I did change the terminals out. It's a half inch, and so the very first thing you want to do, just so you know, you don't get shocked or anything like that. Um, take the ground off Just kind of sit it there just so the car Just so the car doesn't run while you're doing all this So now now that we have the ground off um, There is a clamp up here right there and meter. So we're gonna loosen that clamp up Because we're gonna take this whole thing off So that it's easy access to it So that right there, and then uh, you gotta unplug the mass. So there's a little clip. Yep. There's a little clip back here. You unplug it. We're gonna take the top off to this. I mean, that might actually give me enough room, but I don't think it will. Uh, it actually, it gives me enough room. I don't even need to take any of that off. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out though because I know it'll give me better room. Ah, uh, that's old. That's ugly. What? It's an air filter. Yep. You know what that is. Okay, so now everyone, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off. I'm just gonna pull that off for now, and then um. So I need to get some bolts and everything to take that off, which I do believe it's a 14 or 15. So I'm gonna take it off here, let me show you guys. So there's a bolt down here. Um, there's one right in between there. And then there's another one right back here. And then this whole air box will come off. I need to actually take this out and clean it cause it's got a lot of stuff in it anyway. So I'm gonna take that out and clean it anyway while I'm doing this since I gotta do it anyway. 
a half inch. So we're gonna we're gonna take this off. Okay, you can put it up here a little bit more, buddy. But um, so after I take the bolts out and everything, everything should come out. I don't know how good of a view that is, but hey, whatever works. So when you take the bolt out, it's going to look like that. It's going to have a little sleeve on it. The moment that we've been waiting for. Yeah, not really, but. So, I'm gonna take this ground off. Just be really, really careful when you're taking it off. You wanna get yourself a flathead screwdriver? Yep. Okay, so now we got it off. Uh, if you come over here and you look at this, so this is the whole this little ground system that goes to the blower motor and um, this will come out pretty much you got points so I mean I can show you guys this you got point a point right here and then another point right here if you pry that up um, you'll be able to pull it out of the ground and then you'll get this to where inspect all your points um, same with the harness itself inspect it just to make sure it's not damaged or fried or whatever so what I did I can figure out where to put it I don't know what I did with the other part yeah. I'll find it Okay, so I think I have some sandpaper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little piece of sandpaper and then just kind of clean up these points a little tiny bit. Which they're not even really that bad. I think it was mainly this part that was causing an issue. And then this is the part that actually grounds everything out. So you want to make sure that's all cleaned up. And then what I like to do since um, since I have all this taken apart. And there's paint right here. So I'll take some sandpaper. And just kind of sand around it a little bit. Take a little tiny bit of that paint off. Okay, so now guys, uh, we're gonna get some of this electric degreaser, the electric grease, my bad. Put a little bit on your finger and whatnot. Just kind of put some on the points that the ground and everything goes on. This is pretty much just so, you know, things won't decay. And, uh, you know, everything's going to run right. Okay, so now that we're done with that, all I did was just blow that out because there's nothing you can do. Um, this can only go back on one way. And so you have 
there's like a notch. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. There's a notch right here. And then there's a point that it clips into and then another point on the other side. Well, if you come to this harness, um, you see, so there's a groove right here and then there's those points that it connects to. Well, it can only go back on one way. So you wanna line your points and everything back up. And then once you hear that click, everything clicked back into place. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back on now that we have that all hooked back up. So we're going to tighten this back up. Um, before I do that, oh, before I do that, so there is actually this cover that it goes to the bottom of it. So I don't think it matters exactly which way it goes, anything like that. Which there's only one way that it can go. And just put that back on the bottom where the wires are. I took that off so that I can actually clean everything. Wait. So you just want to make sure that's nice and hand tight. So everything's back together. You can't move it around. Um, so if you guys have a problem, so I'm gonna to get to putting all this back together and then I will show you guys that it works. So if you have a problem with your blower motor, like I said in this video, um, that is one thing to take apart, look at. Um, this is one thing I will use electric grease on just because it's in the engine bay and it's something to do with the ground and everything else. Um, this stuff is good for stuff like that. And thanks again to Laker for letting me steal this from him. I, I've had it for probably like over a week now. It's because I've been meaning to do this but I just haven't really got the chance to do it. So I will be back with you guys here in a little while uh, to show you that everything does work. All right, everyone. So everything is put back together. Uh, the ground has been put back together and fixed. And so we come in the truck now. And so everything does work. One works. You know, two still works. So everything still works. You can bring it over. So this is another, this is another way. Um, if if you guys start having problems, so if you guys start having problems or whatever with uh, your blower motor and it's not turning on, um, this is one thing to look at. Um, a lot of times it doesn't matter what car, what truck, anything like that. It is. It'll always look kind of like that. Um, some of them are just uh, ground wires and some of them are actually grounded to the front Which is grounded always it's I what I've noticed is they are always in the engine bay and Sometimes they just they come loose or sometimes They get a little tiny bit of corrosion on them 
So you just want to clean them up all nice. So um, if you guys like this video, uh, this is another video on the blower motor repair. So if you guys like this video, definitely like this video. Uh, comment on this video uh, what you think about it. And uh, subscribe for more. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. See you later, guys.